Okay, here we are trying to remove the differential retaining bearing. That holds the differential itself in place. See, I got one at the top of the case and one at the bottom. These things are very stubborn. Uh, one gentleman recommended I use something called a ladyfoot pry bar that I can put underneath this lip here but I got to be very careful since the case is made out of cast it will crack so I'm going to have to make myself a piece of wood to go across here for the bar to rest on. It's going to be somewhat thin but I got these ladyfoots in several different sizes. I don't know why they call them ladyfoot maybe because of small foot of a female unless you're a hobbit I suppose and I've even got a smaller one here. Guy at work recommended I try a puller. This puller fits over here, you screw this thing down and it gradually lifts the uh, plate out. Problem is, you have to have something to press against and that hole, as you can see, isn't filled with anything. But, the pinion, this half inch drive shaft, rests on the pinion on the inside and this is made out of steel, so I'm going to give this a try. Maybe a little bit of both, but I'm going to try to be very, very careful. Hopefully we'll have good results, I'll let you know in a while. Okay, here's an update. The uh, pulley puller seems to be working just fine. I'm not having to put that much pressure on it. Obviously, I'm worried about cracking the edge of these flanges. I'm not sure what they made of. It looks appear to be cast. One interesting thing is happening. Instead of this flange coming up, the flange below, as you can see, is being pushed down. It's a good, uh, got a good quarter of an inch, maybe three-eighths of an inch there. What's happening is the pulley is pushing, it appears to be pushing the differential down. It's soon at some point I'm going to reach where I'm not going to be able to push any further. Let me get this rag out of the way. Push any further as the differential is going to be against the case. In which case I'm going to flip this thing over and see if I can't pull that side out and, and then come back and work on this top side. You can see I've got a good quarter of an inch off the bearing. All right, more later. Okay, we got them out. This is what they look like. Bearing retainers. Bearings on the differentials. Look at that. All the rust. Let me zoom out a little bit. They don't feel loose and uh, they don't seem rough, but uh, obviously all that rust is, uh, is ruined them. Differential itself looks okay. I didn't see any missing teeth. The case on the inside with the differential rusted. Ugh. Chocolate pudding. It may be the result of the that oil throwing gear that was uh, that was destroyed. I can get a good shot at it. Ah, come on here. This guy right here that supplies that supplies oil to the back of the differential. If that thing was busted, not enough oil was getting back there and that would account for the massive amount of sludge. Well, as soon as I get the uh, final shaft out, which is here, I'll uh, take this thing out and uh, I got a power washer and we'll scrub it up. The decision I got to make now is I want to continue. Do I want to continue, mow the lawn, or take the dogs for a walk? Not sure. Till next time. Well, here's a bonus. I would like to say there are no animals hurt or injured or killed uh, during the filming of my videos, but I can't say that because while I was out in the carport, the dogs, my two terriers, killed a garter snake. I guess they're good for something.